वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इंटर वैक्टर टेबल ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स विथ एट जीरो एट सिक्स देर आर टोटल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स इंटरअप एंड ऑल द इंटरअप आर हैविंग वेल डिफाइन मेमरी लोकेशन एंड ऑल दिज लोकेशन आर स्टोर्ड Inside IVT interrupt vector table. That's why whenever any particular interrupt comes, microprocessor will jumps its control to well-defined memory location, and that is happening because of IVT. So you should understand what is IVT, how it is there with eight zero eight six, and how program control is getting transferred to well-defined memory location. So everything. that i'll be explaining you in this video so you just see this video till last so my dear students as i have told you with 8086 we have total 256 interrupts it starts from type 0 to type 255 so total 256 interrupts are there with 8086 and each of these types of interrupt is having well defined memory location you see it starts from all zero hex and each of this type is holding four bytes of address so next type that will be starting from four hex after that next type that should start from eight hex after that next should start from 12 in hex it will be c hex right and then next should start from 16 means 10 hex in hexadecimal so that is how each of this type holds four bytes of address right so my dear students directly you can even calculate what will be address of any random type for example if you wanted to have address of 64 type then 64 into 4 that will be my initial address of type 64 right now my dear students you should know how much memory that this ivt acquires so each of this type holds four bytes initial address is there from all zero hex means 20 bit address is there and ivt requires how much memory four bytes into total 256 types so that will be 1 kb of memory so 8086 can have total 1 mb memory as per 20 bits of addressing out of that 1 kb memory that is there with interrupt vector table now my dear students you must have one question why do we have four bytes of each of this type so we have four bytes of address with each of this type to hold ip and cs of that interrupt so here my dear students whenever any interrupt comes program control should transferred to well defined memory location and that location will be stored over here so ip and cs that is loaded over here ip is of 16 bits means 2 byte and cs is also of 16 bits means 2 bytes so total 4 bytes of ip and cs that we load over here with each of this type right so my dear students here once any interrupt comes there will be well defined physical address which is there with each of this type that will be taken and once it is taken what we do is we perform interrupt service routine so first of all we need to have address once you load that address how it will be there cs into 10x plus ip you can perform interrupt service routine right so that is how this four bytes are there with each of these types now first of all let us try to understand how categories of types are there with 8086 so first of all you should know type 0 to type 4 that is there for dedicated function so well defined functions are there with 8086 right that even i'll explain you step by step let us see first how many categories are there second is there as per reserved for intel 
so type 5 to type 31 that is reserved for intel and here type 32 to 255 that is user defined so here user can define all these types right type 32 to type 255 and here dedicated functions are there with type 0 to type 4 and this type 5 to type 31 those are reserved by intel that is for future processor now my dear students let us try to understand what are those dedicated functions which is there with type 0 to type 4 so when we talk about type 0 interrupt so that is divide overflow that is also referred as int 0 and that is executed whenever you have divided by 0 instruction execution for example when you execute div instruction in 8086 and as if divisor is 0 in that case your answer will be infinite and that cannot be stored so you can say divide error is happening right so whenever this exception is happening while you execute div instruction in 8086 this type of interrupt will get executed this type 1 that is there with single step so if you observe flag register of 8086 in that we have trap flag as if it is equals to 1 in that case you can say we are having single step execution so in single step execution after every instruction mpu will get pauses so here we execute program as per one by one instruction so in that trap flag is equals to one that will be having interrupt that will be type 1 interrupt or you can say int 1 interrupt now type 2 that is non maskable interrupt so that is happening as per age trigger interrupt on nmi pin so we have hardware interrupt nmi interrupt right non maskable interrupt and that we use it in case of emergency now next is type 3 interrupt my dear students type 3 interrupt that is breakpoint interrupt and this breakpoint interrupt that we use it to have breaks in program why the reason is for example if you have a very long program and if you execute it in a one go in that case you may have some issues in terms of identifying logical issues so if you break down program in sections then as if errors are there in different sections then by having break we can identify it so it is very useful in debugging of program and type 4 that is there with overflow so if you observe flag register of 8086 in that we have overflow flag and this overflow will happen in signed arithmetic operation so this overflow interrupt that is getting arised whenever of is equals to 1 and that is possible in signed arithmetic operation so whenever you have overflow in signed arithmetic operation this interrupt will get enabled right so these are dedicated functions which are available with 8086 and these functions are having well defined understanding and program loaded with the memory of 8086 but when we talk about this user defined interrupts so for that user can design interrupt as per their wish right so for example if you wanted to have printing operation and for printing operation if you define few interrupts right then it will be executed as per whatever program that you are loading at the location which is defined as per the four bytes given by ipncs right so here you will be loading address and at that address you will be writing program so whenever that interrupt comes at the time 8086 will execute that program that will be service to interrupt that will be as per user defined right so this is all about different categories of interrupt my dear students and still if any query is there what i want is you just post that query in comment box so that i can understand how i can resolve it by making future videos thank you so much for watching this video